Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with the third part on the painting of this Heldrake. And now I will do these things here. I will do also the highlights on the gold on this part and I will do this um, exhaust pipes or this exhausting system and this type of teeth here. So, um, if you are interested in how I did the yellow, the blue and all these pink areas and this um, bronze golden part, please check part 1 for the pink and the gold and part 2 for the yellow and blue parts. And now we are going to do part 3 and I will start first doing this glowing here. So to do this, the glowing here, I will start first uh, applying, um, I will do the glowing in orange. I was adopting to if do it in orange or in purplish colors. And I think at the end we will do, or, do orange like fire because I will do the same glowing on the teeth or on the mouth of the, of the gold. So I will first apply Wild Rider Red here. Um, just um, nothing special to explain here. You apply this on these parts of the of the hell like. Okay. One thing I need to point is when you do glowing, um, yeah, you tend to do the glowing on the same color as the light, as the source light. But indeed, if the if the light is bright enough outside. And here I, I will suppose that is right outside. You have to do the you, you have to think that the glowing is mixing with the light outside. So the glowing will be sometimes brighter than the source or will be whiter than the source. So this is what I will do here on, on when I do the glowing. First I do the orange because I want to look like it's um like fire inside of the hell wake. So I will apply orange on all these parts. As you see here on the on this part, so I will repeat the same on the other side, and I will be back. So now I'm going to apply um, twelve layer orange, and here I will not do reverse highlighting. I will um, highlight the middle part of this thing trying to leave the surrounding with the previous color we'll do the same here Okay. Now I will let it dry before I apply the next layer. Okay, so this is the next layer. I will let it dry now. And while this is drying up, I will start painting this part here. And to do that, I will start with um, Balthazar Gold. Shake it very well. And I will apply Balthazar Gold on sorry. around these things here. Okay. Apply here but Balthazar Gold. It's a very dark one, I don't know why they call it gold, for me it's more like copper or bronze color. It's more like a bronze than a gold. And then I will do the same on the teeth, and the teeth is also straightforward. Apply in both sides of the teeth, and don't forget to do the inside of the teeth. So I will do apply this Balthazar gold and I will connect back. Balthazar gold is applied here, also here in these ones and on this type of teeth. Now I will, now that this is dry, I will keep working on this. I will apply now Fire Dragon Bright. So 
we apply this. In the middle, okay. Then I will apply golden yellow. Here I don't need to let it dry. Just want to make very bright the middle. Let's see here. And now the next thing that I will do, I will put like an aureola of this color around this hole, okay, something like that, here, okay, same here. In some cases I have it from the previous layer, but now I will make it and make it a little bit thicker than normal highlight. Just something around and also well here in that part. And all this surrounding. Okay, so see what I mean. So I apply the same here. And now, yeah, here I will do the same. Make this thicker. See this yellow is not it's quite thin. And, it's difficult to to cover correctly. Okay, this hole will look like. And the last thing, I do this one. I will make it a little bit thicker. I think it's too thin compared to the others. Try to make them equally. Like making a shading, but with a brighter color. And the last point is going to apply dawn yellow around the source light. So I will apply like that. Okay, and here the, is the point, when you have a light of source and it's impacting, in that case is an orangey light of source, but this, the light is impacting a color that is brighter than the source of light, like this case is the yellow, 
So normally what happens if you have other light around that this is the case, I, I'm supposing that this is a day, they are they are under daylight. It's not get the the, the the substrate is not getting the orange color because it will get darker and make no sense that you put light and it's getting darker to orange. So what will happen is it will go to more bright yellow because it's been it will catch light from two sources from this thing here plus the environmental source. Um, so I was watching this when I was looking uh, how explosion or how a light is highlighting a white lab coat or white clothes and I realized that indeed the clothes are not getting orangey are getting brighter white so I suppose on yellow you will get brighter yellow so what I will do here is I will also put some of this bright yellow in that part here as you see okay again this side here and this part here this hope will look like and the thing the touch I can do at the end is just make just make this type of line here in the middle of of the light source will make it brighter is almost white okay so this is how we look like the bottom part of the Heldrake and now we will pass to do the exhaust pipes and to do the exhaust pipes I will first do as I did in all the golden all the go other golden parts I will do now a wash with Agvax air shade on them so just apply the wash all over them especially I want to be sure that we see this type of cuts that this part have apply generously on especially on the side of the hole so and be careful not to dirt any of the surrounding parts that are painted in previous steps I will not apply here on the spikes, it's not needed. Just on this, and then once this is done, I will let it dry. So I will wait for some minutes to be sure that the wash is completely dry. Okay, so this is what I do, and I will wait until these parts are dry. Now that the wash is completely dry, what I will do now is I will use Hehena's goal to do some highlights on this part. So I will do edge highlight and in that way I will and it I will I will apply it leaving the previous colors because later on I want to do some burn marks. So you just I just will apply this on the previous layer, try to thin this a little bit more because it's too thick at this moment and I will apply this on this, so I will say these are exhaust holes or reactors of the Hellrake So it will apply. The hands go like that. Okay. I 
analysis. So I will keep I will apply this and I will be back once this is dry. So that the Shehena's gold is applied, I will wait until it's completely dry and while I'm waiting I will do some highlight on the other golden parts. And here on this type of spikes I will apply this I will apply Auric Armor Gold, very clear one to do to apply some highlights as you can see here to make it more bright so it will start from the outside to the inside with the brush sideways just to to do highlight on the top here at the back where you have we have these ones I will do the same so it will apply from back so from the extreme out to inside like that You can see sometimes it's not easy the access. Okay, then we'll do the different, you can do all the different corners, but I want to give this, uh, add some bright to this goal to make it, it less dull. Okay, so this should be okay. And now I will work again on the on these things. I will use one of the powders. I will use this time black powder. This one that is black black sod so to use the powders in that case I just take a little bit on my palette try to focus here what I'm doing so here I have the powder and I will apply water put some water next to it And now I will mix the water. I have also some brown powder, it's okay. In that case. So I will make like a wash. The powder we have to be careful. You can always dilute them. And then once they have this type of like a wash, okay. Move the camera up again. We'll apply the powder. Apply this at the first. I will follow this small cracks we have here, and I will apply. As you see, it's very liquid, but I will thin, it's very thin. I want to apply it especially on the exit. Okay, I will do the same here. First I try to apply directly on the cuts or the damages. And then you apply. No looks bright when but the these powders when they dry 
of these pigments are very matte so it will look interesting burning okay we'll do the same here on the top first I do this this type of cuts or damages and then I will start applying this you can see I make it I wanted to make like a wash okay you do and then we have to let it dry see take a little bit more you need very little powder to do this or pigments so you apply it all around the, the hole And you can also go a little bit on the top. Not too much because we want to, to keep some of the original gold part. Okay, so now we will let it dry and we will finish this part of the held bake. Okay, so I will be back with that part once this is dry. So this is how it's looking like once is completely dry, you see it's normal, it's completely matte so I will leave it like that, I think it's good enough and I will finalize this part of the, this part 3 on the painting and assembly tutorial of the held rake so let's wait now for the next step where you see I start also preparing the wings I will not explain how the wings are done because I will fo I'm following the same exactly the same processes here. So but I will explain how I assembled them. So next step will be to start assembling the pieces together and I will start working on the finishing the neck, all these drops here, and I will do also the head of the Heldrick. So thanks a lot for watching this video and see you back in the next part. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.